Hi. Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, we're going to wait just one more minute, but let's start by sitting in a comfortable cross-legged seated position with our spine straight, but not like too much arch. And just begin to tune in, just close your eyes and just start to connect with your breath. Um, there is no need right yet to change anything. Just, just start to notice your breathing and then we'll get started in a minute or so. Hope everyone is doing good. And just, can I just confirm that you guys can hear me? Yes. Great. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and mute. Okay. All right. All right, sitting in this comfortable cross-legged seated position. Uh, before we begin, I just want to mention if you have any health conditions um, during the practice, if you have difficulty breathing, or if you feel any kind of discomfort, please, um, you know, please stop at any time. And uh, you can either come into a child's pose or just, you know, if it's um, difficult. I mean, my practice today is going to be um, geared towards beginners, so it's not intense. But again, if you feel any discomfort, please stop at any moment. Um, today, I just wanted, there's a lot of things happening in the world and, um, you know, a lot of stress happening. And I just want to start by talking about breathing. Um, the whole yoga practice is about breathing. So we keep saying, connect to your breath, um, take a deep breath. And the importance of breathing, um, sometimes we don't take, you know, we take breathing for granted because, you know, it's been there since we we're born and it's going to be there when we leave. Um, but, you know, it's really important to notice that breathing actually impacts many different aspects of our lives, including heart rate, blood pressure, um, how we feel, react to stress. And so we tend to breathe short and sh shallow nowadays a lot, especially with a lot of you know, stresses in our life. And so that short, shallow breathing that comes from the chest area is actually connected to fight or flight mechanism. So you're in this like fight or flight sort of like heavy breathing um, state. And so it's important to change that and all, change that towards the belly breathing because the belly breathing is actually what helps to activate the vagus nerve. And then it brings that sense of calmness and uh, being able to tackle with stress. And so um, I think, you know, the best thing to imagine when you're breathing during the yoga practice is like when you're walking through nature, like in surrounded by trees, you, when you're around tr trees, we tend to naturally take really deep breaths and calm ourselves. So breath is one of those things, you know, that can be an anchor to be present you know, in the moment. And that's why, you know, connecting to your breath lets you really connect to yourself. And then it also can be a source of this energy and calmness and relaxation. So I just wanted to mention that, um, talk, talk about that before we get into the breathing practice. All right, so we're gonna start by taking a deep inhale through the nose and then open your mouth, exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Letting go of tensions. One more time, inhale deeply through your nose. Exhale, open mouth, let everything go. Now, next time on your exhale, zip your mouth and exhale through your nose with a slight constriction from the back of your throat. This is called ujjayi breath or also victorious breath. So take a deep inhale and then close your mouth. Exhale through the nose. Nice audible breaths. So continue to breathe like this throughout the practice today. Um, this breathing really helps you connect, but also lets you on the exhalation release any tension. And then bring your hands to heart center. We're going to take a deep inhale for the sound of OM. If you're uncomfortable saying OM, you can just emphasize the M vibration sound. Inhale. Aum. Ah, 
slowly, if you had your eyes closed, open your eyes, start to rub your hands against one another, just warming them. And then slowly place your hand on your shoulder and start to massage your shoulder. Just massaging, moving it up and down. And then slowly bring your hands on your shoulders and start to draw some circles with your arms. Make sure to sit up nice and tall. Your spine is elongated, neck is long. And it's now slowly keeping that deep ujjayi breath. Start to draw the circles in the opposite direction. Nice audible breaths if you can. And slowly come to stillness. Clasp your hands against one another and stretch your hand in front of you and bring them overhead and take a side bend towards your right side. Pressing on your left knee down towards the mat and sitting through both sits bone. Every exhale, side bend a little bit more. Inhale, oxygenate your spine. Exhale, side bend just a little bit more, pressing on that left knee. Inhale one more time. Exhale. One more here. Inhaling deeply. Exhaling. Slowly come back to center and let's do that on the other side. Inhale and then exhale side, bend to your left. Inhale, try to open up your shoulder too. Inhale here, exhale side, bend, pressing your knee down, pressing on your sits bone. One more time, inhale this deep stretch on your right side. Exhale, let everything go. Slowly come to center. And then bring your hands forward and let's take some cat cow stretches like this. So inhale, crawl your back, exhale, sweep your hands up, extend your spine forward. Inhale, exhale. Slowly bring your hands on your knees and let's do those cat cow stretches. Now sitting down like this, pressing on your sits bone. Inhale, move your spine forward, curling your back. You can look up. Exhale, roll forward, look towards your belly. One more time, inhale, slide your spine forward. Exhale, look inside. One more time, inhale. Exhale. And then slowly bring your feet about mat width distance from in each other. And then you can place your hands by your hips and then just start to knock your knees from side to side almost like windshield wipers. Trying to bring your knees all the way down if you can. Just a few of these. Again, breathing deeply, exhaling. And all of these practices, you can keep your eyes closed to really help you even connect more deeply with yourself. And then next time your knees drop to the right side, sit up tall and then twist towards your right side. Inhale, elongate your spine. Every exhale, twist a little bit more. One more inhale. Exhale, a little bit more. And then slowly come to face forward. And let's do a few of those windshield wipe moves with our knees. And then next time your knees drop to the left, take the twist on the left side. Inhale. Lengthen your spine, exhale, twist a little bit towards the back or your side. Inhale, exhale, inhale one more time, exhale. Slowly come to face the front and then from here, place your right ankle over your left knee. You can draw your left foot closer, but make sure your foot is nice and flat on the mat. And then placing your hands by your hips, just start to rock your, oops, start to rock your knee from side to side. A little slippery there. Just a few of these, opening up your hips. And then come to stillness, extend your left foot forward, and then grab your right foot. Either you can hold it like this, or you can clasp, you can place that right foot in your left elbow crease, and you can clasp 
your hands if you can, or just hold on to your leg. Um, this is called the rock your baby posture, but make sure your spine is straight and then just start to rock your foot from side to side. Again, emphasizing the breathing, exhalations. Feels really good when I close my eyes and I do this posture. Slowly come to stillness, plant your foot down, and then this time cross over that left ankle over your right knee, and then just rock your knee from side to side. Opening up the hip area. When we're sitting down a lot, working on the computer, this really feels good. We come to stillness and then extend your right foot forward. Same thing, grab, you can either grab onto your left foot or place it inside the right elbow crease. You can grab your foot like that or clasp it if you can. And sit up tall, start to rock from side to side. Slowly bring that left foot to meet the right, cross your ankles, and from here, come to a downward facing dog. Your first downward facing dog, so make sure you're nice and positioned here. All 10 fingers are nice and grounded, spread, spread apart, and you're pr putting pressure between your index finger and your thumb, and make sure there is a nice energy line from the crown of your head all the way to your back so your gaze is towards your belly and if you can't bring your heels all the way down you can always bend your knees and lift up your heels but make sure you're pressing on your hands and let's take three breaths here inhale exhale every exhale maybe try to bring your heels a little bit closer to the floor with practice eventually you should be able to but again listening to your body inhale Exhale, inhale, exhale, and then slowly look forward and then come to, your heat, uh, come to your toes and start to take tiny little steps towards your hand, small steps, very slowly. Once your feet are in line with your hands, start to roll up one vertebrate at a time your head should be the last thing to come up you can draw drag your hands on your shins forward very slowly and then come all the way up to tadasana or also known as mountain posture shine your palms forward active posture your feet can be touching each other knees are lifted but not locked hips are lifted chest is lifted and your gaze is nice and soft to the front and standing tall like a mountain grounding through all four corners of your feet you can even lift up your all your toes and flare them and then slowly set them down to feel that groundingness i think we all need a little bit more grounding nowadays with a lot of stress going on around just stay here for two more breaths just feeling that connection with the earth. And we're going to do one round of sun salutation. So inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Look up towards your hands. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. You can place your hands on blocks if you have them or on your ankles or all the way on, your, on the mat. Inhale, look forward, straight back. Exhale, fold inside, bringing your head to connect with your knee if you can. You can bend your knee as much as you want, trying to bring your chest closer to your thighs. Then from here, pressing on your hands, step your left foot back, right foot meets, meets the left, coming to this plank, and then slowly drop both knees down, drop your chest, drop your chin, and slide forward to cobra. Just lift up your chest and head. Inhaling, exhaling, bringing your chin down. Tuck your toes. Come back to child's pose for a second and then tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog. 
Downward facing dog is a nice restorative position actually in yoga. So make sure to connect with your breath here. Inhale, exhale. You can even open your mouth and let everything go. Inhale. One more time. And then slowly bend your knees, look forward. You can hop, step, or jump forward. I'm gonna step one foot at a time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Look up. Exhale, release your hands. Coming back to Tadasana. Take a moment here to connect with your breath. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Grounding through your feet. One more inhale. One more exhale. Really, really connecting with the breath. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead, look up, high prayer. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Plant your hands on the mat and then step this time your left foot back and setting your left foot down, making sure it's, you're on your toes, of, on your left toe. And then you can stay here if you're a beginner, coming to your fingertips maybe and just stay here for three breaths. If you want a little bit more challenge, you can either press yourself up and come, come here and pressing your both hands, but making sure your right thigh is parallel to the mat. You can stay here and then few more variations. You can either bring your hands to heart center or you can bring, lift your hands up. And if this is too much for you, you can always feel free to drop your knee down and do this posture like this. All right, so these are all the variations. And let's take three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Feeling the connection with your breath. Staying strong. Challenging yourself a little bit more. Maybe pressing down. And slowly bring your left hand outside the right foot like that. Again, you can feel free to drop your knees if you didn't have it down. And then stretch your right hand towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale here, opening up your shoulders a little bit more. One more time. And slowly bring your hands to frame your foot. And then come back, step that foot back and come back to downward facing dog. Let's catch up with our breath. Inhale, looking towards your belly. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly bend your knees, look forward, hop, step, or jump to the front. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. And then this time, step your right foot back, coming back to that lunge position. And again, take the same variation you took on the other side. You can stay here, coming to your fingertips or pressing on your knee or heart center, stretching up or dropping your knees down. Staying here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hear your breath, audible breaths. And then slowly you can bring that right foot, right hand outside the left foot and stretch your left hand up. And again, to challenge yourself, you can come to that lunge position or with your drop knee. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale, opening up a little bit. Exhale, inhale, open your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale one more time. Exhale, slowly bring both hands to frame that left foot and step, come back, uh, lift your right knee and then come back to downward facing dog. Let's take two breaths here, inhale. Exhale, look towards your belly. One more time, inhale. Exhale, and slowly bend your knees, look forward, hop, step or jump to the front. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, release your hands. 
Catch up with your breath again, inhaling, exhaling, grounding. And slowly sweep your hands overhead one more time. Exhale, swan dive all the way down, planting your hands on the mat. Slowly step your left foot back again. Same thing, but this time drop your left knee down, untuck your toe, and then slowly start to move your right foot outside of your right hand. So basically, it's like that. Okay, we're gonna come to a lizard posture. So it should be all the way to the edge of the, your right foot should be to the edge of the mat. And then from here, two different variations. You can press on your uh, left hand and open that left knee this way. Opening up the left knee and stay here for three breaths. Or you can come all the way down onto your forearms for an even deeper stretch. And staying here for three breaths. Inhale. Inhale, second time. Inhale, third time. If you were on your forearms, press yourself up, untuck your toe, lift your knee, and step that right foot back, coming back to downward facing dog. One more inhale here, one more exhale here. Slowly bend your knees, look forward. Again, step forward, or you can walk forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. And then this time, pressing your hands, step your right foot back, and then drop your right knee down, untuck your toe, and slowly start to move that left foot towards the left edge of the mat. And you can stay here, opening that left knee, and even coming to that knife edge of your left foot, and just stay here. Or for a deeper challenge, you can come to your forearms, and stay here for three breaths. Wherever you are, make sure you're breathing deeply and exhaling deeply. Oxygenating on your inhalation, letting go of the carbon dioxide, the toxins on your exhalation. One more here. And slowly, if you were in this deeper, lizard, then untuck your toe, lift your knee, and then stretch that left foot back, coming back to downward facing dog. Two more breaths here. Inhale, look towards your belly, pressing on your hand, exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. You can hop, step, or jump forward. I'm gonna show you a hop like that. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, fold inside. Inhale, sweep your hands up. Exhale, release. Catching up with your breath. Two breaths here. Right. Inhale, sweep your hands overhead. Exhale, swan dive all the way down. Step that left foot back and bring the heel all the way down. And this time slowly pivot yourself, turn towards the front, and then point both of your feet towards um, each side. So they're like flared like that. And then slowly you can place your hands on your hips and lift yourself up. Coming to stand like this. And we're gonna do some stretches here for our thigh area. So inhale, flare up your hands, coming to the star position. Exhale, coming all the way down, bring your hands to heart center. You can even move from side to side, opening up your hips. One more time, inhale, lift up like a starfish. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center, draw it down. And let's do that one more time with a nice cleansing breath. Inhale, sweep your hands up like a starfish, exhale, bring the hands all the way to your center and stay here for two breaths. 
slowly. You can place your hands on your knees and you can open up your, start to turn your torso towards the right side, opening up that right side. Come to center, then open up that left side. Slowly come back to center, turn your toes inward, actually turn your right toe forward and then plant your hands by that foot. Step that left foot forward, bend your knees, and then come to sit down, all the way down. Take a moment here. You can cross your ankles and then slowly come to a tabletop position. Making sure you're nicely set in this tabletop. Your hands are directly underneath your shoulders. Your feet can be untucked, or if you want, you can keep them tucked, but make sure they're hip width distance and directly underneath your hips. Inhale, let's take some cat cow stretches. Drop your belly, look forward. Exhale, crawl your back, look inside. One more time. Inhale, drop your belly, arch your back, look up. Exhale, crawling, looking inside towards your belly. Really feeling that spine getting that exercise and oxygenation, inhaling up, exhaling, pulling. And then slowly from here, you can come all the way down on your belly, stretching your feet back and come to this Sphinx posture. So you can just place your forearm down and make sure your feet are touching each other. Just feeling this nice back stretch. Back stretches are really good. Again, if you're on the computer for a long time, we tend to be really hunched over. So this really helps open up your back. And then slowly you can come all the way down, bring your chin down and then spread your hands apart from, away from the mat like that and then bring them to tent each other. And then on your inhale, lift up your chest. Exhale, bring your chin down. Again, massaging feeling that strengthening of your back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, come all the way down. One more time, inhale, lifting your back. Exhale, coming all the way down. And then slowly, let's come to this restorative posture. You can bring your knee or bring your elbow all the way to the front and just place your chin on your hands as if you're watching a TV. So just sitting here in this restorative posture, but it's still really opening up your back your spine, and taking some deep inhales and exhales here. And slowly bring your hands down, press yourself all the way back, come to sit on your heels for a second. Take a moment to catch up with your breath. Don't make any sudden moments, uh, movements for during yoga because it can really make you out of breath. And again, the uh, important thing here is to really connect with your breath and take those deep breathing. Slowly after catching up with your breath, you can bring your feet forward and then move yourself forward on the mat. And let's do a boat posture here. So setting yourself, your feet can be touching each other or they can, it's better if you're a beginner, they're um, hip width distance. And then slowly placing your hands underneath your knee, uh, start to tip your weight back. When you can't go any further back, if this is your first time doing this, you can just stay here and feel the balance. Or you can lift maybe one leg towards the front, bring the left foot to meet the right. And if you feel balance on your sits bone, making sure you're, you're not scrunched over just tipping your weight back. You can release your hands, looking towards your feet. Let's take two breaths here. And focusing on your breath really helps you to hold postures because then you're not stressing too much about what's happening. Again, listening to your body and wherever you feel comfortable. And slowly bring your feet down and come all the way back on reclining on your back, bring your feet about mat width distance, or actually bring it hip width distance. And we're gonna do some 
uh, bridge posture, but with movement. So start to graze the back of your heels with your, your fingertips so you can draw your heels closer to your buttocks. And if you feel your heels, from here, you can start to lift up your pelvis. Or if you want a deeper stretch, you can actually bring your feet even more closer and grab, grab, grab the um, ankles. So again, wherever you feel comfortable, pressing on your hands or grabbing your ankle. Inhale, pressing your shoulders down, lift your pelvis from the mat. Pressing up on your exhale, press up a little bit more. Inhale one more time. Exhale a little bit higher. One more time, inhale. And then next exhale, slowly bring your pelvis all the way down. And let's do that with some hand movements now. So inhale, as you inhale, stretch your hand all the way back and lift your pelvis. As you exhale, bring your hands all the way down on the mat. So inhale, bring your hands all the way back, lift your pelvis, exhale, bring your pelvis down, bring your hands by the mat. One more time, inhale, lift your pelvis, stretch your hands back, exhale, letting go coming down to earth. One more time, inhale, lifting your pelvis, exhale, bringing it all the way down. And there's a little bit of a challenge today. Um, so from here, bring your feet to touch each other, coming to this Sukta Bhattakasana posture. Um, so opening up your hips, we're gonna do that bridge posture this way, but if this is too much for you, feel free to do the same bridge posture that we just did. So if you are in this posture where your feet are touching each other and your knees are apart, same idea as the bridge, but you're gonna to start to press on your hands and lift your pelvis from the mat. Staying here for three breaths here, inhale. This is an even deeper stretch opening up your hips. Inhale, exhale, lifting a little bit more, inhale and slowly bring your hips all the way down. And then if your feet were touching each other, place them on the mat. And then slowly bring your knees towards your chest and start, you can have the knees touch each other and start to draw some circles in one direction. Massaging your back. You can draw those circles in the opposite direction. And then slowly bring your feet up, pointing them up. You can either grab your ankles or the outer edges of your feet coming to this happy baby posture. And you can just roll from side to side. Just feeling in this posture, opening up. And then slowly bring your knees to touch each other. And then slowly from here, drop your knees, both knees if you can, toward the right side. If you can, bring them all the way down on the mat. Otherwise, every exhalation, try to bring them down. And then make sure both shoulders are grounded on earth so you're not lifting up one shoulder and your gaze is towards the left side. And make sure um, either you stay here or you can bring your hands even on a T posture. So every inhale, Lengthen your spine and every exhale, maybe twisting a little bit more, feeling this nice twist. So if your knees are not all the way down, feel free to do that on your exhalation. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly bring your knees back to the center. And then this time, slowly, gently drop your knees down to the left side, your gaze is towards the right, bring your hands on your T if you want, and making sure the important thing here is both your shoulders are grounded. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, twist a little bit more towards the left. One more inhale, exhale, one more inhale. Exhale, slowly come back to center. And then this time, 
bring your knees closer to your chest and you can give yourself a nice hug. You can clasp your shins. And then slowly from here, coming to this tiny little ball, lift your head off from the mat and bring your forehead closer to your knees. So coming to this ball, inhale here. Exhale, bring your forehead a little more closer to your knees. One more time, inhale. And on your exhale, let everything go. And start to just melt towards the earth. Bring your feet a little apart from each other. Your palms can be shining up. Shoulders are down. And just starting to feel this nothingness, this moment where you have your awareness, your body has its breath, but you're feeling this nothingness. So start to melt everything, your heels down to earth, back of your knees, your hips, your bellies dropping onto the earth, your chest, your shoulders. Make sure your, both your shoulders are nicely grounded to the earth. Palms are shining up. If your jaws are clenched, make sure it's nice and loose. If your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth, drop it from there. Nose is soft, slight focus between your eyebrows if you can. And then even imagining your brain dropping just a little bit in the skull. And just feeling this moment of letting everything go, all the tensions, and just feeling that everything is perfect right now, just the way it is. And breathing can now really slow down so you don't have to take the deep inhales and exhales anymore just the natural rhythm of your breath. This is Shavasana or corpse posture, which in yoga signifies the end of the practice so that you are ready to be born again. And so this posture is actually also known to be one of the most difficult postures because our thoughts are always racing, our mind is always racing. But this stillness, is actually important to bring that homeostasis, that balance back in your body. And this moment of pause is actually where that benefit of yoga comes in. So just feeling that, just settle in. Try to get all the wiggles out, making no more movements. Slowly start to bring some movements on your fingertips. Maybe wiggle your toes a little bit. And take a nice deep breath. And stretch your hands overhead, point your toes. Nice good morning stretch. And then slowly bring your knees towards your chest and turn towards your right side, placing your head on your hand or your arm. And this posture, known as, also known as, um, it's, a, um, it's like being born again. This fetal position. I'm just taking in the moment, take a deep breath here. New light, new energy, and preparing ourselves for meditation with new invigoration. Take a moment to thank your body, thank your breath that carries you all the day, all day, all night. And then slowly press yourself up, 
You can keep your eyes closed and come to this cross-legged seated position. And you can sit on a cushion because we're preparing ourselves to do a meditation practice now. So um, if you're a beginner, sometimes your feet can get numb if you sit here for a long time. So always feel free to prop up your back um, by sitting on a cushion. And so we're gonna start with a little bit of a breath practice. So this is called alternate nostril breathing or anilong bilong. And so you can observe me first and then we can do it together and then we'll do a meditation. So I'll leave you guys with a meditation so you can continue on your own um, once I sign off. But before I do that, thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I'll hope to see you guys again next week. Thank you. So we're gonna start by placing our hand like this and then fold in your index finger and your middle finger inward and then place your thumb over your right nostril, your ring finger over your left nostril and then pressing on your left nostril with that ring finger, inhale deeply through your right nostril, close that right nostril with your thumb and then exhale fully through your left nostril. One more time, inhale now through your left nostril. Close that left nostril with your ring finger and then exhale fully through your right nostril. So this is one cycle of alternate nostril breathing. And this breathing can be done with holding the breath in between. But if you're a beginner, I don't re recommend doing that. But this breathing really helps to balance out um, you know, both hemispheres of the brain. And it's also very good for activating the vagus nerve, which brings that rest and digest that calm feeling. And so let's do this again. So bringing your hands like this, hold your index finger and your middle finger inward, place your thumb over your right nostril, ring finger over your left nostril, press your left nostril, inhale fully through your right nostril, close your right nostril, exhale fully through your left nostril, inhale fully through your left nostril, close the left nostril, exhale fully through your right nostril. And then feel free to do about eight to 10 of these on your own. After you've finished eight to 10 rounds of this, then you can place your hands on your knees. You can open up your palms up, facing up. You can take full deep breaths through both nostrils. Your head can be tilted, tilted back just a little bit with a slight focus between your eyebrows. And so we're preparing ourselves for meditation here. So the focus if you're not used to doing med meditation, then you can focus just on your inhalations and exhalations. That's one way. Another way, if that's distracting and if you get distracted, you can always repeat something. So you focus on, your focus is on something. So one thing you can do is on your inhale, you can say, I am peace. On your exhale, you can say, I am love and just keep repeating that. Or if you have any other kind of practice that you're used to doing for meditation, you can always choose to do that. So your hands can be on your knees like this, 
or you can, for even deeper concentration, you can actually place your one palm over your uh, right palm and just place it on your lap gently and bring your thumbs to touch each other. So either ways you can do this. And then just start to tilt your head back and bringing the slight gaze between your eyebrows. Just start to tune in into their breath. And I'm going to leave you guys with this so you can continue this practice um, for five minutes, or if you want to do it longer, it's even better. So 15 to 20 minutes is a good practice. Thank you all.